Welcome back, AP Psych students. I just want to say hello and kind of give you an outline of what we'll be doing for the next month or so uh, in AP Psychology. Hope you had a good spring break, as good as could possibly be under quarantine and stay a shelter in place order. Hope everybody is staying healthy and happy. Uh, so what I wanted to talk at least a little bit about today was the updates they've made officially for the AP Psych test. So first off, it is all FRQ now. So you know, if you're wondering why you're going to be getting a lot of FRQ practice in the next month, well, that's that's the reason. Uh, the AP Psych format is now two free response questions. One of those free response questions is going to be pretty much the same type that you have been doing, where you're given a prompt and you know two kind of crazy names and how would each of these terms apply to the situation? So that's an FRQ you're relatively familiar with. So that'll be like the first one, I think. Uh, the second one is going to be a research-based question. So especially this week and early next week, and you know, the, the first FRQ I'm gonna give you guys as an assignment is gonna be one of those. So asking lots of questions about experiments, independent variables, dependent variables. There'll be some statistics and things like that on there. So going all the way back to unit one. So basically what we're gonna be doing in the next month is uh, I'll be giving you guys practice FRQs like that on Microsoft Forms. So just like most of you did for the first one, okay, you write your response. Uh, I'm also gonna be sharing videos. The College Board has been generous enough to provide kind of outline videos of everything that is going to be on the test or everything that could be fair game on the test. So I'll be sharing those videos with you guys every day. I'll be sharing a study guide with you. Um, my hope is, of course, that everybody does the study guide. It's not an assignment. The, the assignments that you're going to have to do are the FRQs. And this, this is true even if you're not taking the AP test. And I think we got 20 out of 30 in fifth period and like 26 out of 31 in second period. Most of you guys are taking the test, but this is an assignment. And the same, it's the same thing goes with the AP practice uh, multiple choice questions that I gave you before break that we're still looking at. Maybe a third of you guys have done so far. You know, these are four grades. This is your fourth quarter project is completing these assignments. Okay, so you want to hop on them as soon as you can, get them done as soon as you can, okay, and, you know, you get the grade recorded, it should improve your grade, you know, one of the things about the AP test with these two FRQs is, you know, it's going to be open note, okay, I should tell you what day it's going to be, here's the day, May 19th at 1 p.m., okay, that is the exam date, okay, and, you know, we'll talk in future sessions, you got to download uh, what's called a lockdown browser on your computer. You know, you can take the, the test at home, you can take it at school, but it's going to be open note. The only issue is you only get 45 minutes for the test. And uh, if you spend all your time looking the information up, chances are you're not going to have enough time to finish. Okay. Uh, so like I said, most of the stuff we'll be doing the next month, I'll be posting review stuff on everything from the basic definitions and perspectives of psychology to uh, stats stuff later in the week to bio stuff. We actually don't have, we, we finished all the content. So you can congratulate yourselves on that. We were efficient with our time. Uh, we're, we're done with vocab. We're done with new content. So everything we're doing in the next month is just going to be, do you remember this stuff from first semester? Do you remember this stuff from the beginning of second semester? So like I said, I'll be giving you guys FRQs, which are for a grade. Please do them. Okay, you don't want to fall too far behind. And some of you guys already went 0 for 6, 0 for 7 on the e-learning assignments from the first couple weeks. Let's catch up with that. Okay, hop on these as soon as you can. Uh, watch the review videos. They can help you with these FRQs. Uh, they can definitely help you prepare for the AP test. As we're getting closer, I know it seems like a ways away now, and hopefully in a few weeks we'll be back in school uh, and so we can have a face-to-face -face interaction and talk about these concepts. But for now, do the practice FRQs for a grade. Do the, or watch the reviews. 
take notes. I'll be giving you guys a note guide for that, and we should be good to go. So I will talk to you guys again soon. Have an outstanding Monday, uh, and stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye.